Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this tutorial is part of the How to Make a Platformer series. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at wall climbing and wall jumping, two different mechanics using pretty much the same code. So let's get on. So let's create a wall to start off with. Okay, so we'll just make a simple wall like so and I'm going to copy that so I've got two okay and um, I'm going to label this one up as wall so I went L1 and L1 and square and then named it wall uh, this one still says sculpture this is the one that's going to be our wall. We need to make this identifiable as a climbing wall. Um, so let me just reduce the size of it slightly. Um, there we go. And then we'll put another one this, this side. So the only bit of the wall that's climbable is this. Um, so you can put any sort of design you like on this. Um, it can be a paint effect. It can be anything you like. I'm just going to do something very, very simple here. Um, I'm just going to surface snap and smear a vine looking thing up the wall so you know that this is a, a climbing wall. Something like that. There we go. Okay, so that's a, a climbing bit for our character to climb up. Right, let's put in our puppet. Now you can do this with any puppet. I'm going to use the blank sliding platforming puppet. Um, I, the only changes I'm going to make is I'm just going to stretch his arms a bit. Go into tools and stretch. And I'm just going to make his arms a little bit longer because I find this is... Um, bit better for the animation right okay there we go so I've got my uh, puppet he's ready to climb that wall now normally this is what happens um, it will come up to the wall you can jump up I can't get up there you know it's uh, it's no good I can't climb up the wall so we're going to go L1 and X and then L1 and X on his microchip and that gives up his logic chip here okay um so we're going to put in a brand new microchip this is going to be called wall climbing and um so all of the logic for wall climbing is inside this microchip. So you, you can have this powered on all the time, or you can only turn the, you can turn this on um, when a player achieves something, collects something or whatever. You just need to um, make sure that this has got no power to it and that you send power to it uh, when you want this uh, activity to be available. Okay, so first thing we need to do um, is we need to put in uh, a connection between our controller sensors cross button and our wall climbing mechanics. So we're going to put in a node and I'm going to wire the cross button into our node and I'll just change the node to little man and call it cross. There you go. So that's if anybody's pressed the cross button. That's given us um, some power. Right, uh, now I need an AND gate. Um, and I'm going to wire our cross into our AND gate. Now then, what's going to happen here is uh, our player is going to walk up to the wall and he's going to start jumping and he's going to be able to jump up the wall. So um, I need to, to find out whether or not he is actually touching the wall so we're going to put in a sensor 
an impact sensor. Now, uh, the, the default is bumping. We don't want bumping, we want touching, which is this one. So you'll need to open it up and wire into the B socket there. That's it. That's just seeing if it's touching anything. Then we got to see if it's touching something called wall, our climbing wall. So we're going to put in a trigger zone. And I'm going to make it a cube because I think that's a slightly better shape than the circle for this sort of thing. We want it in front of him. I'm just going to do that. So that is going to test whether or not there's a wall in front of him. And we're going to go back to the first page and select label. And then if I press down on the D-pad until I get to wall and you'll see the wall is flashing. If the wall is not flashing, then you haven't done something right. Make sure that is labeled up as wall and this says wall and you've selected label. So that's what it's going to detect. So it's now detecting if you actually standing next to the wall. This is going to detect whether you're touching it. And now we want to see, uh, want to make sure that he's jumped up onto the wall, first of all. So we're going to put in um, a detector for that. And I'm going to need a puppet interface and a knot gate. So inside the puppet interface, um, you can see it's already lit up because he's standing on the ground. I want to see if he's not on the ground, if he's jumped. So I'm going to put that into the knot gate. And then that goes into our, our and. Right, there we go. So it's detecting. Have I pressed X? Is it touching the wall? Is it touching a wall that we can climb? And have we jumped up? There we go. And then we want him to move up the wall. And to do that, we're going to use a force applier. And we're going to wire that up. We're going to use 100%. Um, and I'm just going to put this down to about 2.3 and change it to directional. I'm just going to put the uh, grid snap on to help us snap that to a vertical position. And then I'm going to turn the grid off. So we've got 100%, 2.3 and directional on that. Okay, now let's see what happens. So if I go up to my wall and jump, nothing happens. Jump, jump, no. If I keep jumping, press the button, he'll start going up the wall. There we go, and over the other side. Right, so I'll do it both sides. Doesn't have to have the vines there. Uh, be careful with the vines, of course. Um, they need to be part of uh, the wall. Um, it might. There we are. Like that. There we go. It's like Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, it doesn't look very good. So let's see if we can put in some animations to make that look a little bit. Um, right. So. I'm going to use um, a selector. And we're going to power on our selector when we are climbing the wall. Don't want it any other time. And we're going to put in two different keyframes. So first keyframe. This is a very simplistic. Right, I just need to turn off the puppet mirror. Right, put one arm up and the opposite leg up. Done. And then I need another keyframe. And there we're going to put that arm, oops, that arm up. And then this leg up. Like so. Right, then we're going to wire one to A and one to B. And then we're going to wire this to the move to next output. 
So every time you press it, it's going to swap between these two keyframes. So off we go. And there we are, he's climbing up the wall. So he gets to the top. There we are. Fantastic. Um, you'll notice once he's at the top of the wall, um, he doesn't start to cl continue climbing. That's because I raised, uh, if we look at the um, trigger zone, make sure it's not on touching the floor uh, um, above his feet. That way you can climb up of walls and onto ledges and he's not trying to still climb because um, that doesn't look very good. Right, so now we've done our wall climbing, let's do a wall jump. So take this wall here, let me just um, I'll make it smaller. There we go. And we'll put one there and one there to create like a, a chimney. So we're going to do chimney wall jump now with the same code that we've just built with some some adaptations. So we want to name this one wall two. And this one as well. Obviously you can make one and copy and clone it all over the place. Okay, so, so this is our this is where we want to do our wall jump. So here's our wall climbing code. Um, so we'll just copy that. Let's close that one off. Let's rename this wall jumping. Okay. And open that up. Now we by cloning it, we've lost our wire to the X button. As you can see, there's nothing coming out of it, so we're gonna to have to wire that back in. So cross button back into our node. Okay. Um, and we don't need the animation, so that's gone. And here is some text that I added. Um, sorry, when I was uh, <laughs> this is just the instruction text. So get rid of that. Right. Okay. So wall jumping. Um, we need to change our trigger zone now to look for wall two. There we go, now you see those flashing. So this code is all exactly the same. Um, we're going to change the force applier so that the force speed is eight. Now, before I go any further, I'd just like to say this is based on a tutorial uh, made by Vince Cully. So I'd like a big thanks to him. Um, the uh, the previous tutorial was an adaptation of this code. This is pretty much exactly the same as what he did on his channel. So thanks to uh, to Vince for this. Right. Okay. So um, we're gonna make sure that the the we can't hold down on the X button. So I'm gonna put in a signal manipulator to make sure we get a pulse. So we can change it to pulse. So you can't hold down the X button. There we go. And we're going to try and uh, limit it so that you can't walk up the wall. So at the moment, I can walk up the wall like this. We don't want it to do that. We want him to be able to wall jump like this which it will do now, but obviously we don't want him to be able to just do that. So in order to stop that, we're going to put in a counter. So let's just go back to our code. Right, so I'm going to put a counter in. And this is going to go up one every time we jump. So result, increase count. Then we put a not gate in to the counter full. So we can only jump if the counter is not full. And then we want to reset this counter when you're not touching the wall. So we put in another knot gate. Not touching the wall. 
reset the counter. So now it's only going to work when um, you're between two walls like this. There we go, simple as. And now we have two mechanics because this one will still work. So he's still climbing up the vine like that. There we go. So that mechanic where you press the X button fast in order to get up the wall, that is still there. And that's activating on anything called wall. Well, this one activates on anything called wall two. There we are. Very simple. So two mechanics, wall climbing and wall jumping in the same puppet. There we go. Hope that was useful. Thank you for watching. Catching dreams.